So here I'm going to try and answer as uh, succinctly as I can the question, what's the difference between professional platinum or professional and the deluxe versions of TurboCAD? So the quick answer is 3D. On the left here, we have TurboCAD professional platinum opened up. And on the right here, we have the deluxe version. So and here on the right and here on the right, we have the 3D tools, the 3D model tools. So this one on the left are all the tools for professional platinum and on the right are the tools for deluxe. So you can see there's a huge difference in the number of tools. If we look at just this 3D modifier looking deluxe, we've got three. There's the three there and look, we've got two lines of extra ones here. So if your bag is 3D work, then I strongly advise you go for the professional or the professional platinum. Certain things uh, which would be very easy to draw in the professional are going to be a bit of a pain in a deluxe. A lot of them you can get there. I've seen some very impressive 3D drawings in deluxe. But on the whole, if 3D is what you want to do, go for the pro. The other thing to say about 3D is that in professional, you have the option of drawing in as a solid object or as a surface object. In the deluxe, you do not have the option of the solid, you've just got the surface. Okay, there is another film showing you the different things you can do in 3D modeling between the two, but for now, I'll leave it at that and go through some of the other differences. So, if we look at um, along the top here in the deluxe, where it says file, edit, view, etc., you go along here. And then we look at the pro version, it's more or less the same. There's just, I think, three along here, the uh, SKD, add-ons, and Ruby, which are not in the deluxe. So what I'm going to do is walk through these uh, tools, these options at the top, and show you which ones that are in the professional and not in the deluxe. Then you can make your choice from there. So um, file, edit, view, insert, are virtually the same. So we'll ignore those for now. Uh, format as well, really. The big change is start when you get to tools. Now, if we look at tools here, we've got this list. If we look at tools in the deluxe, it's a much shorter list. So let's look at tools and see what we've got in the pro, not in deluxe. First of all, coming down, there's an underlay manager. This means that we can import PDFs and if, there are, if they are a vector PDF, then we can bring them into TurboCAD, explode them, and then they become CAD drawings. We can treat them as CAD drawings, you know, delete, add lines, whatever it is. If it's a raster PDF, <clears throat> it'll come in as a picture. But um, And if you need to convert that to a, a vector PDF, then you need a different piece of software. And I believe if you look on orderw's turbocad.com, there's various conversion bits of software there. Um, you've got a file converter, which means that if you produce a drawing, say, and you save it, it'll save as a default to a, T, uh, a TurboCAD file. If you need to send it to someone using a different piece of software, they may not be able to open it. And so you've got to save it, perhaps, say, as a DWG. Now, if it's one drawing, it's no problem. But if, say, for example, you had to send 100 drawings to someone, then it'd be a bit tedious opening every single one and then convert them to DWG. So the, the file converter will batch change uh, files. So if you've got 100 TCWs and you want to turn them all into DWGs, that's where you do it. Um, there's a woodworking tool. So if, for example, you've drawn a kitchen cabinet in 3D, maybe it's got six shelves, two sides, a back, a top and a bottom. In 3D, you can sling a lasso around it and then it will break it up into all its components. So it'll say there's six shelves. Well, it won't say shelves because you won't know what they are, obviously. But it'll say there's six components that are this size. There's two that are this size, one of those, one of those. And then you can type in the size. And if you're going to cut all those pieces out of wood, so out of a sheet of wood, you can type in the size of the sheet of wood and it'll show you the, uh, the best way of laying them out so there's the least amount of waste. You can also accommodate for uh, the various thicknesses of saw blades um, and uh, grain direction. OK, 
coming down you've got the hatch pattern which is a hatch pattern creator so if you look in your hatches so if we look at uh, if I draw something here let's draw it in the uh, deluxe if I draw that and select it and go up here, uh, and sorry, um, where am I? Whoops, I've not opened it far enough to get the box. There it is, none. It says there's no fill to it, so if I click on here, here's all the hatches that are in the default, and the pro are the same. Now, if you want to use a particular hatch that's not here, uh, in the deluxe, uh, your, uh, well, that's your lot, you can't, that's all you can choose. In the pro version, you can create your own hatch and put it into that um, uh, into that library. Okay, the only thing to remember is your hatch has to be symmetrical. Down from that, you've got drawing compare. Drawing compare is where you have, say, a 2D drawing that you've brought in, and maybe over a period of time you've made various changes to that drawing. What you can do is you can plonk your edited drawing on top of your original drawing and through drawing compare it will throw up and show you the the changes you've made so you can look at your first drawing your edited drawing and you and you can ask it to blink to show what the changes you've made or you can just ask to see what changes you've made so very useful little program uh, tool rather and both of these are available as extra add-ons uh, you can get those through turbocad.com so i think that's about it down there if we then go along to say to draw, uh, the only thing I think you've got here is the gear contour. In the pro version, you've got this gear contour. You can see it draws a gear, um, and you select it, right click, go to properties, uh, gear, and you can see you can uh, uh, customize your gear with a number of teeth to it. And pitch and all that sort of business okay uh, cancel that so that's in draw I think that's the only one there the stellated polygon is in the pro and the deluxe you have got constraints these are rules you would put onto a 2d drawing and they're really uh, engineering tools rather than architectural so if you have two lines that must always stay the same length equal length or they've got to be um, perpendicular or uh, parallel whatever rules you can impose those rules on the drawing and it puts a little green icon by your by the uh, the line whatever you're doing and um, and so if you go to try and change your drawing and it breaks the rules that you've imposed on it you'll get a dialog box coming up saying you can't do this because you've said you can't you can click onto the little green icons and delete them so you can put the rules on take the rules off but it's a sort of safety mechanism so that you impose rules and um, and then if you accidentally break them it'll tell you architecture well there's just a whole pile of extra tools in the pro version and not in the deluxe i mean the deluxe version is fine to have a quick little look at what you can do in architecture but you know, in our in the lax version, for example, you've got a one skin wall, one brick wall, whereas in the pro plan version, you you can create a specific wall type of wall for your project. So you can have an outside brick wall, a cavity, inside block, plasterboard, two or three mil skim on top of that, um, and and you can save that wall within your drawing, and you can save all sorts of walls. So if your house or your building has a number of different types of walls, you can save them all within there and extra stuff for doors and windows in the pro version you can have anything you like and in the deluxe you're very restricted uh, modified i think there's any real difference there apart from the obvious um, constraints with 3d uh, modes same i think skd um, the only thing here really may be of use is copy in place so if you've got a say a rectangle um, uh, let's draw a rectangle let's take a do a sketch and say do a rectangle if I do that rectangle I can click onto that uh, go to their section copy and place now I've got one on top of the other and so if I select it now it says which one do I want so I can select one and put it over there obviously I can do exactly the same thing with deluxe I just use do it in a, a slightly different way um, add-ons when we get to add-ons there's a few little tools that are quite nice there's 
a modify fillet 3D and pipe with the pipe tool. If, for example, you had a kitchen and you had a, a maybe a, a water pipe or a gas pipe running around, what you could do is in the kitchen, in, I'm talking 3D here, you could draw, use a the 3D line tool, uh, which is here, 3D polyline. You could snap it to the various corners of the pipes going round. And then once you've done it, you can click on to um, click on to add-ons, uh, modify. First of all, give the corners uh, a fillet. So you click onto them, click on the fillet. Dialog box comes up, says what's the radius you fillet. You do that, and then you go back up here. You click onto the line again. You go back up here, and you click on pipe. And then you say to it, right, you're not a line. You're now a pipe, and you've got this uh, radius. So a good little tool. Uh, you can achieve the same thing using a uh, sweep, uh, which you've got in the deluxe along here. So it, it's a quick way of doing something, but you can do that in deluxe anyway. Although in the pro version, it's going to be a solid and in the deluxe, it's going to be a surface. So moving on, uh, Ruby scripts are in the pro platinum. They're not in the deluxe. Options. The only thing in options uh, which is worth noting is the ACES down here and by default this thing here create editing history is not turned on now the part tree is means if you click this on it means it remembers the history of an object so if you draw say a block and then you uh, fill it an edge maybe put a cylinder through it subtract that cylinder make it into a hole make all sorts of changes to it if this is turned on, and you've got to turn it on at the beginning of the drawing, uh, when you start, yeah. If that's turned on, and then you go to, you select the object and go to selection information, it'll show you the whole history of the drawing. So it'll say originally there was a box, and then there was a cylinder put through it, and then there was a subtract, and then there was a fillet, and you can select those things, and you can change them if you want to. So if you're, the hole you made with the cylinder is too big or too small, you can select that cylinder that you use to make the hole because it remembers it and change the size of it okay so very very useful tool for 3d especially in terms of you know editing things later which can sometimes be difficult um, and that's it really that's the essence of the differences there are other differences obviously I'm this is a quick overview of the differences um, on my site on paulthecad.com You'll find all sorts of little notes about various bits and pieces relating to questions people have asked and problems they've had between the pro and perhaps the, the deluxe and what's best to use for whatever job. Okay, I think that'll do for now.